Hey man, I've, I've been dreaming about the piggy bank parachutes for 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 years now. Yeah, I wanna I wanna, <laughs> I wanna ride it. I wanna ride that piggy bank to the to the gates of our house. <laughs> Hey everybody, this episode of the podcast is regarding monetization monetization, and uh, it's about the offers that we've seen over the past few years and sort of the trends me and Cam have uh, just noticed over time and what we expect to see in the coming weeks because this is a big time of the year for, for offers and deals and, and Black Friday and Cyber Monday are, are definitely the two biggest days of the year. Um, there's also some trends that we would like changed as far as the monetization of this game goes and other other games have shown success doing doing some different things than Kabam has done and we kind of just would like to see it go that way as well. So just in general, uh, talking about money, money in units and uh, what what you can get for them in this game. So enjoy. So the champion has a synergy with Luke Cage and Luke Cage will have a synergy with him. And then yeah, same yeah. same thing with Sentry. It'll be like a three way yeah. Wasp Ant Man sent sort of thing. Um, mm. the tough brawlers is with Luke Cage the champion is unstoppable when using a light and medium attack. Persistent force with Mephisto and Sentry. Oh yeah. Uh, gain an indestructible buff when he has three or more persistent charge. Oh okay, so uh, Mephisto does have persistent charges, so. Yeah. Maybe I mean Sentry already gains an indestructible buff, but maybe they all will. Maybe all three of them will. Maybe it's like uh maybe it depends on how many charges you have, like for them for their synergy. It, this is not the, the complete episode, like this is yeah. just synergies that the champion gets, not the, right. the other champions. You know what's um, promising though? Is that I had like a weird feeling just based on the artwork and stuff that Sentry would have something to do with these two new champions. Uh, yeah. like lore wise and it seems like that's true so i'm hoping Aegon as well will have some sort of synergy with sentry that buffs him up um, increase max reality warps to 10 oh. i love the uh, the david and goliath with Aegon uh, gains attack rating when fighting smaller champions oh yeah it's awesome <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> it's yeah. pretty funny um he, I, his specials speaking look really of reddit cool. and stuff i saw a post made by our frequent stream the starfighter mm -hmm. uh on the the previous deals for um for black friday and cyber monday stuff oh uh yeah it's it's a, it's an excel sheet you can it's on the front page it's it's an information it's on kind of. it's on hot it's on hot it's hot. Oh, okay yeah. what's the, um, the title called so past fourth of july black, black friday and cyber, cyber monday deals past oh got it okay yep by Starfighter, huh? Excel sheet here. Okay. Oh, wow. Multiple years yeah, back. I would love to talk about that when we talk about monetization. Well, let's let's stuff. jump into monetization. Because we don't really we don't really have the info for the champions right right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's not let's uh, avoid the champion. Even though I just want to say this, he looks cool, and the WWE style is awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Awesome I'm I'm also I'm a little bummed that I'm that I'm more hyped for the. Uh, Aegon. Aegon, because champion looks pretty cool. Uh, I can't, cannot go for both. Well, actually, will they both be in the same crystal? Yeah, they will, right? Yeah, so I could grab both. Yeah, that would be cool. Man, nah, um, I kind of wish I could hoard for um, the the featured ones, but I have been just I've I've cut back on playing time a lot uh, because of family and stuff. And yep. Like my shard gain is literally it's tanked. Now. Yeah. Yep. I understand how that Feels goes. Bad. Yeah, yeah, I've, 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 um, well, at least you're still in like a tier one alliance. I, yeah, yeah. I've budgeted yeah. to hit the 1000 shards every single time. Yep. yep. And, uh, but I'm, it looks like I'm probably going to be able to hit the 2000. So that's good. That's great. Uh, uh, all right. So let's jump into monetiz 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 monetization. Monetization. Jesus. Monetization. Okay. That's, that's, that's too many zations. <laughs> yeah. I too many syllables there. <laughs> too All right. many syllables. So that's a, this is a great part to start on because 4th of July uh, has already happened. So we know what happened in 2018. And there was yeah. a nice Reddit post by Starfighter who you might know from streams and stuff. She hangs around in streams. Analyzing the last three years. And I'm looking at this for the first time right now. So Cam, if you've already looked at it, go for it. Explain what's going uh, on here. Yeah, it's just, it's just the, the deals from... So apparently, um, 
back in 2016, there was no 4th of July deal. Mm. Maybe there wasn't one at all. Uh, or she couldn't find them. And then 2017, there was the... Uh, there was just the, the usual, you know, stuff with, with the, with the. Okay, fifteen k. I see this. Look, fifteen k units, and you got. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so. Oh, okay. No, I'm not reading this right. So you would get a full tier two alpha. Oh yeah. my god! In 2017, only one Back tier two day, alpha for fifteen k units. Good. Yeah. Uh, you. It looks like you'd grab a full five star, a tier two alpha, uh, yep. and. Six seven tier four basics yep. and uh, a bunch and of I think alphas. that year that year the, the the good the good deal was the the Odin because yeah. it has six K five star shards and five star waking gem crystal. I think I got that one. Yeah, I did. I, I think I did it. too, yeah. yeah. I got a skill from there. And I use it on Karnak, and now he is he mm. may or may not be rank four. Oh and yes. I, you used it on Karnak? Yeah, I love Karnak. Dude, that's uh, awesome! I like Karnak too. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna you wanna talk about Let's Karnak? Let's talk about Karnak. <laughs> yeah. He's okay. pretty cool, right? <laughs> He's really cool. He's he a suicide monster. He takes so much monster. less bleed damage. I love it. Poison. Yeah, so much less poison damage. Yeah, yeah poison damage. He's the and, only the, guy and the true strike that. and stuff. And he is uh, really good in the arena because he once he gets that the precision thing, every fight is over. It's just it's great. He's one of those weird champions that you almost never lose with in the arena. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he's he's great. I, I I'm really happy with the rank up. Okay, uh, 2018, 2018. <laughs> yes. We know what happened. We had the the really just just incredible Egregious. deal of agree. Like <laughs> this was the time where I think this happened as the overheating stuff was going on. Yeah. Well, here's and go for it. It was sorry. also after the 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 news that they're going to remove diversity as a factor in alliance for defense. Oh yeah. We, we so it was just really, just really rough. So it was after the fact that they said it, uh, before this deal, they said that they're not going to remove diversity. So they wanted yeah. To yeah. They, they said diversity is here to stay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, yeah. in my opinion, the one thing I, the one theme I, I didn't like that they offered tier five basics so early. <laughs> like people and shot so ahead. much of it yeah. yeah but here's the thing about that though uh i did like how the better value deal was for units and the gate gouge your eyeballs out because it's so expensive deal was for money you know that was that was good because yeah, i feel this this deal was basically just you know, when when we had like the boycott and like the logouts. Yeah. This was this was when that was going on, the, and this deal just. The problem is, is that what they came boycott? with an Odin, so a lot of people <laughs> ended up getting both. So let's just okay, hold on. People are probably like, "What the hell? What was the deal?" So uh, the unit deal that came out was the cash. So usually when it's when you say when you hear like a cash offer, it's for it's not cash like money. It's C A C H E. And it means for units, and it's usually tiered. So you yeah. start by spending 1,000 units, uh, and then you get some stuff. You sp then you spend 4,000, and then you spend 10,000. And that's usually how it goes, and you get um, all the stuff for 15,000 units. So last time, it was a, mar a five-star Marvelous Crystal, which was a guaranteed good champion because they had a really strong string of champions that came out, and then this crystal was just the last few, like the last eight or something. Yeah. Uh, it had an Awakening Gem Crystal, uh, a million gold, which is actually a lot, uh, and uh, a bunch of alphas and basics, and I think you got two full tier two alphas by buying this. Yeah, um, amazing! Uh, it was such a good deal. And then they got um, they made an error, and you ended up getting two of the five star crystals. Uh, which was the holy just crow! The, and I, I got just Domino and Corvus out of those. I mean, Jesus! Wow! <laughs> yeah. So that was a great deal. And then as far as the uh, offers for money go, uh, they had um, a variety of catalysts and crystals available scaling up to offering um, one third of a tier five basic for $100 and allowing you to purchase it three times. So, yep. oh yep. God. And so and that, that also came with some tier two alphas and, and five star crystals. So people who got both, jump shot their account by like four months of work in one day 
Like it was, yeah, pretty it was much, crazy. Right? Yeah, it was insane. even if even if you are in master, you're not getting, you're not always getting. Oh, right now, especially right now, you are not getting a, a T five B every season. Yeah. So this thing just just shot so many people ahead, and since then we have had deals uh, with T five B in them, mm-hmm. like unit deals. There was, I think, there was a unit deal like a few days back. Unit deals and money deals, two money deals, and the two money deals was like hundred bucks for four thousand five hundred or hundred bucks <laughs> for nine thousand. It was really bad. Shards. And they didn't include the units, so yeah, yeah, screw that. Like just comparatively, it, it was just insane. It was insanity when they when they released this. So here's and something: yeah, people bought it. People, oh, so. people are definitely gonna pick up anything with basics in it at the moment. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait for the uh, class. I, I think they're going to sit on this milking the basics for a long time before we see a tier five class. I, I kind of hope they do because I don't want to have another six star situation with seven stars. <laughs> no, 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 you no. Know, I don't think they're going to. Tour they it. won't release seven stars ever. I don't think. I'm. I would. I would be happy if they don't ever release them. <laughs> yeah, be I'll honest. be so unhappy if they do release them that I. I yeah. Probably would stop playing. I. I don't think I could take it. <laughs> Like, it's just too yeah, much. Yeah. Anyway, I think it would be kind of interesting to compare to 2017, July 4th, first Black Friday, because, um, which was better, you know? Can we expect something better than July 4th of this year, you know? Yeah, that is interesting. So... Uh, I, I also have, like, taken a look at the, uh, the, the, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals from 2016. Mm-hmm. And man, those are... Uh, game has come a long way. Yeah, four star generic awakening gem for a hundred dollars. One T four CC. Oh god. One level two potion. You see that one? That's that's a that's the deal. Thank that's God deal that right potion there. was in there. So I'm looking at the 2017 stuff, and I think the Cyber Monday is clearly better. It's a it's a much stronger deal for the cash off for the one that's just for units. Um, the one just just yeah. for units. So I'm seeing um, the tier two alpha is replicated. But it's actually almost duplicated. So you get almost twice as much tier two alpha. Uh, maybe actually Yeah, you do get you do get double the tier two alpha. Um you get signature stone crystals for five stars, that's always good. And then you get And those were a lot rare back then. Oh yeah. And then you get way more five star shards. Uh it looks like they're giving you Enough for a featured crystal, fifteen thousand. Whereas before they were giving you um, just ten thousand. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely Cyber Monday is the the day. You know, Fourth of July usually knocks it out of the park, uh, and then Cyber Monday is just like you really gotta, you gotta get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a good one. I mean, it's it, you don't have to. Obviously, you know, we know some people who who never ever get any of them. And, the the uh, they're cash, doing fine. the the cache deals are are usually pretty pretty good, but mm-hmm. even comparing the the actual the money deals, yeah, even those were better. I feel. Oh yes, uh, the awakening gem crystal uh, repeated itself. Um, well, oh, maybe no. that wasn't better. I will say I'd rather have the Fourth of July. The five star shirts, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. interesting. That's definitely interesting. And notice how they say limit one, right? So they took that away for this Fourth of July in 2018. I rem- I remember them doing deals where you could buy multiple of them. Yeah, even the fourth. Occasionally, I remember them doing them for <clears throat> Christmas. I think mm. where you could buy like multiple multiple yeah. of each set I, I wish the the christmas deals were here because those are also nice yeah so uh, what do you think a fair uh, offer would be on uh on this black friday uh, cyber a monday fair offer i yes. feel um <clears throat> i'm not sure what what the what the definition of fair here is because well, there's always going to be what what, what what would what would you like to see without getting too greedy check your what greediness would, uh, Okay, check. Yeah. greediness and check. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not sure. I, I I want to see some T5B, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I don't think the 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 trend of you know 
15k T5, T5V for yeah. like 100 bucks and you can buy three of them is really that great for the game. No, it's not. So I want to see some of that. I want to see maybe a generic five-star gem. It would yeah, be enticing, definitely. but it wouldn't be uh, gang-breaking in any, in any sense, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, maybe limit it to one for the Odin. But then limit the rest of the deals, like the the lesser deals, to more than one, like they did, I think, for Christmas or something. So yeah. they had a limit of one this. for the Odin, and the the lower, the less expensive you went, the 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 limit increased, and maybe like have uh, tier five basic sprinkled across all the levels of the deals, right? Shards, even for like yeah. ten. Yeah, even for like ten bucks or five bucks, you get a T five B. Just a few. Uh, yeah, you don't get a you don't get a T five B. But it like, could push you over the edge if you're close to give you some options. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It can push you over that that little threshold that you have. Maybe like maybe four thousand shards. Yeah, for some people will consider it a great bucks. deal. Yeah, maybe four thousand shards for five bucks. Um, Eight thousand for no, actually, maybe that's not too high. Thousand for five. 2,000 for 10, um, 4,000 for 30, um, maybe like 10,000 for 50, 20,000 for 100, right? Mm -hmm. But the 100 is has a limit of one. Right? Round it up to 22.5. So, so yeah, half, right? if, you, if you buy all of them, whatever, <clears throat> if you buy all of them multiple times, like, max out on the limit or everything mm -hmm. maybe you you get the whole t5b maybe you can push yourself up above oh, that yeah, limit. if you got all of them yeah that'd be yeah way to spread yeah. it out but at the same time i want that the the five star generic gem in there because i wouldn't need that right it wouldn't really do much to entice me but maybe you need it maybe so many other people need it i feel deals are better when they are when they don't seem mandatory. Oh, tons of people don't even care about tier five basics. They just exactly. Say, they just say yeah. no. The rate of gain is so slow that yeah. augmenting this with like my own money is not worth it. You know. So, hmm. what I would like, what I would like to see, I think, is the unit cash cache deal go one four ten and i would like the full tier five basic to be sprinkled in between those three levels that's too yeah and Definitely. i want to see t5b deals that are worth it yeah i want uh, the catalyst for, for, for all in there Chris, for units i'm i should we should also be getting at least six tier two alphas between those three levels and whatever five star shards sure right and here's what i want for the the cat the money offered the the for the odins i think the odin should take i don't know if i'm getting a little greedy here <laughs> but oh, it should it should have a generic five star awakening gem and a and 200 at least 100 i would think 200 generic five star signature stones like a like a, a plus 200 five star signature stone max it out you know or like one stone that gives yeah. you two hundred. You know that three star one. I don't they, think that. They throw I don't around. think that would be great because I want. I want like. I don't have like. Maybe you don't have a champion. You want to awaken and immediately take to two hundred. Yeah. Right? No, I get um, you, but uh, maybe maybe we want the the hundred stones then instead generics. Yeah, yeah, you know, just whatever, just individual something. stones. It yeah. should be. I would actually no. Okay, I'll I'll take it back because I know you can't hold more than a hundred. So without them having to increase their inventory limits, a hundred yeah. generics and a hundred stone crystals, the stone the crystals. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. That's what I think would should be attached to the offer. Like that's just really quality of life. If you're making, if you're being smart about rank ups and everything, you don't need that at all, at all. And uh, and then that's the one that's tied to money you know and the unit one everyone should be able to get if they save if they're prudent with units so that that's a great point right there because i saw i saw a video by brian a few a few weeks back mm -hmm. where he was talking about how he's uh saving up for uh fourth of july cyber his plans went mm -hmm. out the window because vision came along but <laughs> in his video he was explaining how it's it's really crucial for competing in a in a high level alliance right now. It's it's almost necessary. Is it though? 
I mean, uh, to yeah, I, I think I think the the Fourth of July ones, it it absolutely was back then. <laughs> like I, I'm not gonna pretend like you know that deal was not like a must buy unless if it's like it kind of was if you're living you're in the streets or something. <laughs> <laughs> You kidding me? Yeah, I do know a lot of people bought it. I mean, God, I didn't even yeah. I didn't even blink at it. I saw that and I said limit three and I was like, oh my god, they expect us to buy three. Nope. Yep. Uh but yeah, man, it was it was it was kind of crazy times and it was like right after the boycott and stuff. It was kinda funny to mm-hmm. see so many people being like, Yep, you you gotta buy this. Yeah. So I mean we don't we don't like in our lines nobody actually said you gotta buy anything. Yeah, but it's it was expect- the, the it's not expected, of, it was right? Like underlying tone of like people talking, not even officers, just like people are like, okay, I'm I'm buying this, and <laughs> this is this is setting your alliance ahead. So it's like it's like uh, the deal comes out, and three hours later, guys, the prestige limit just went up four hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yep. uh, you have to be above this line. You have to be this tall to ride. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh some alliances do this. Some alliances actually kick for prestige. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. We just we just uh, I, for I, prestige. I would like, say that's probably man, even more common prestige, in the I lower levels. <laughs> I'd say that's even more common in the lower levels. Uh just because yeah. they're trying to increase, you know? So they have to just you yeah. know, some people just don't want to play as much. Anyway, so that was that was just that was just craziness. And Brian was saying uh, that he like that kind of deal before people have like five rank five five stars mm-hmm. the the kind of deal that just really boosts people for spending money can yeah. be super detrimental to people who can't spend money who like there's no way of actually acquiring all of that with grinding or playing well or no you know managing your resources for alliance world which is which is really just resource inten- resource intensive and time intensive and all that um so he was saying that you know if if we have a repeat of that, uh, he may actually have to drop out of the alliance because he doesn't want to like keep people keep people back, like hold people back just just by um, just by you know not being able to pe- purchase those those deals. Like you can't really you can't compete in the rank five uh, race with grinding arena. You can't compete in a rank five race with with you know. Mm. whatever well whatever grinding it's a temp it's a temporary issue though uh because once we all have five rank fives it's it's over yeah I once mean, we have the once we reach that milestone mm-hmm. which for for some people is already here some people already have it um very few once we once we reach that i think then it's fine to you know fine go ahead just sell t5b like it's hotcakes or something well but, i don't I don't I'm not sure that there's anything super wrong with them kind of taking advantage of this is the profit zone for for Kabam. This is when yeah, they can yeah. guarantee the sales because the top guys I mean, they are can going also, to buy they can it. They can also every guarantee time. sales by putting those in cash offers, right? Mm, not yeah, that pretty many much people they have, can. I no, I I agree. The they should definitely I think as a general rule catalysts in the cash offers shards and fun stuff in the like the fancy the 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 hot ticket items in the in the um cash offers for sure yeah like the catalysts the stuff that really makes or breaks the game but isn't flashy but put the flashy stuff that's not super valuable like the awakening gems and the five star shards like nobody needs to open another five star iron patriot but they want to uh this this fourth of july or whatever not Fourth of July, uh, Cyber Monday. Yeah. Give people a a generic rank three to four. Uh, oh yes. Gem for a five star. And an right? awakening, and the t- and the two hundred six stones. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. That all that all adds up. Maybe like put the generic, put the rank up gem in. Um, you know, I think in I'd... the fifty dollar one maybe. If I, you think, I would like, I would use that gem so quickly. <laughs> yeah. I would just like Get, there's so many champions I want to take up. Yeah. So mm. like that that could that could, that's a flashy item that's not really It doesn't uh, it doesn't alter the uh, No, it doesn't alter the meta or the game yeah. or anything in any way. It just yeah. you know, a lot of us, especially people the people who are probably going to get something like that, we're already sitting on like 
nine or ten rank fours. What's another yeah. one? Doesn't matter. Yep. Hmm. Is this kind of strange? Um, the quantity, the ratio of four rank five to four is different than it was with five four stars. I think. I just. Yes. I remember <laughs> having a much more balanced ratio. You know. Like I I'm think si- back in the day, back in the day, most champs stayed at rank three as uh, four stars. And yeah. Some some champs even at rank one. And you'd go straight to five, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's but a strange right now world. It's, it's mostly mostly rank fours. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I think back like even before that, there was an era where T four CC was very rare, so rank fours were definitely. Uh, rank four four stars were definitely really powerful but um i think right now is right now is a, is a strange time because they are increasing the rate of gain for uh for t5b because they want to make sure that at some point maybe later this year we are going to have uh six stars enter the meta actually like six stars rank twos are super rare these days you you don't you can't sick them up you can't awaken them mm-hmm. um you, you can't really do do much with them like like i saw a six star rank two corvus this past war like you know and, and it died so <laughs> <laughs> unduped i mean uh, no dupe 620 Jeez. <laughs> it was it was it was a funny thing to see um yeah but right now, ranking six stars to rank two is just pretty suicide. So, well, it's fun. I mean, I gotta say, if I duped any of Red mine, Hulk. I'd probably take them up. Who do you have? Not very good ones. A Punisher twenty ninety nine, Beast, uh, King Groot, and Storm. <laughs> oh, please don't take up King Groot. Well, don't okay, King it's Groot. funny you just said that because I was just gonna say, dude, his poison it ticks for like a thousand. Does it? Yeah. It's crazy. I think they fixed the bug with that recently. And the more furies you have when you apply it, it ticks for even more. I've had it tick for like twelve hundred when I got really lucky on a on a downturn. Wow. Yeah, and and so I'm just thinking, I was just thinking, you know, he's one of the safest champions in the game. He'd be awesome. <laughs> like, uh, you're gonna you're gonna hate yourself in the arena. Uh, just imagine those True. arena fights. But if you throw suicides uh, on, he hits really hard. I know I wouldn't take. I, I probably wouldn't take him up. But if I duped him, I'd be super tempted for sure. I mean, because think about it. I'm thinking about it right no, now. No, just <laughs> think about it as far as it's you know, horror. taking one a cha- uh, a champion from rank one to two is not a big decision for any class or for any star rating except for six stars. So that's that's going to change pretty soon, you know. How soon is that? Though? I, I think, think it's going to be uh, with the next act that comes out after that's done, and most and a lot of people have gotten that sorted. I don't think it's going to be a big deal to take a six star to rank two. Next act is probably not finishing until like maybe a year from now, though. So, well, that's true. It, I think they're going to straw out act six like it's nobody's business could take. Uh... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure how how any of that is going to turn out. We have a challenge quest coming up next month. Oh, so that's man, fine. I need the I need the signature stones. Yeah, the twenty. The 20 is it generic? Yeah, right. Yeah, generics. Oh, yeah. thank God. Usually can, generics. Can they up it to maybe like forty? Forty? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. I have a I have a champ ready ready to be sick two hundred. So I'm I'm waiting for that. <laughs> I'm um, actually sitting on seventy or eighty crystals because I can't open them because I'm at a hundred out of a hundred on the mystic stones. Jesus. Yeah, I have <laughs> I don't have a a rank four mystic champion awakened. Wow, brutal. I know. Um, That's why I need this generic offer on Cyber Monday. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Uh, speaking of deals and things to to spend on. Mm-hmm. They have announced that they're going to introduce a, a new, um, like a profile picture system. Oh, like I, for in-game I profile. finally caught up. Yeah, premium. Yeah, premium profile pictures. I think that's really fun. Oh yeah, and I think that cosmetic kind of deals and cosmetic improvements 
um, are kind of the future of this game and monetization in this game if they want to keep the competitive aspect kind of, you know, yeah, untouched. Totally by... agree. I I think because cosmetic stuff's always a great thing to sell, and maybe if the uh, income from that is good the price of other stuff might go down a little bit who knows yeah maybe they will maybe they won't act, actually maybe they won't sell other stuff as often you see you see what i'm talking about like yeah the less you offer those things I, although I the can, more competitive the game would get i find it hard to believe though that the offers come as a result of some attempt to balance the balance sheet like no uh, the uh -huh. the amount of money they make is astronomically higher than their costs anyway right yeah, i feel they have a they have a marketing department that's just like on the ball with, with the offers and stuff yeah so, i think it's more about it's more about when they think that people will buy than when they need money you know yeah they've yeah. got like psychologists and market. i guess that that is also a, a better way of doing like a better way of sustaining a business, like not not panicking when when you need money. Exactly. But you know, just just giving out stuff where <laughs> when you think people will buy it. Just and take I, us for a ride. Yeah. Yeah, and and I believe that they have the 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 financial backing with all the with all the spending across the, the years that that just allows them to do that without having to worry about you know going going under <laughs> one day. <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's good and they probably have enough in the bank to support themselves if they want to go if they feel so I like would, i would love to see more work. cosmetic stuff for... so i'm just i have one beef though with the new system and show me the beef the beef Here's where's the beef, beef. Wow. it's it's replacing the current profile picture system i think i'd rather yes. see something augmented right like i a lot of people ranked up champions, including myself, just to get them in that profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and now people can do that for free. Or, I mean, actually, yeah, for free. Like, someone wants to be, mm. to if someone likes Sentry as their profile, boom, it's done. Instant. That's not cool. I mean, it cost me everything. <laughs> Your sanity. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, well, no, it's, it's okay. But hold on. Here's, <laughs> here's what I would have preferred. Like, I think that. Choosing your champion is boring. Everyone is going to choose some random champion, whatever. You're going to have alliances full of spider gwens or something like yeah. that. But they should have done something like change the border, um, you know, some frame, the title. And it's not just champions, I think. I still think we need, we have to wait and see where this actually goes because the, the borders and everything for the for the for the new profiles it's kind of weird looking it's kind of like it doesn't look like our actual profile pictures it looks like it looks very different yeah it looks special and, uh like there's uh i'm, I'm looking at otrix's uh, reddit uh, twitter profile right now and he has these these data mind uh, stuff mm -hmm. on data mind profiles and one of them is like Spider-Man, one of them is Thor's hammer, and the other one is like Wanda's gloves, like Scarlet yeah. Witch's gloves. So, I mean, it can be a hammer. So if you want to be a hammer, <laughs> that, you can be a hammer. So uh, as, since I was a child, I wanted to be a hammer. Yeah. And I feel they, they're also going to roll these out like in, in small batches, like you know, entice people to buy the next cool, like, cool-looking kind of uh, profile picture. I don't know. I, I think it's fun. I think it's it's kind of cool. But at the same time, um, the beef I have with it is that this is going to make find dual uh, targets harder because once you look up people or once you are in a chat with people, once you're in an alliance with people, you usually have their top yeah. champ showing up as their profile. But right now, this is going to be Thor's hammer or... Um, so Captain Captain America's dong just showing up. The dual there. target is go. You're gonna duel their top champion no matter what. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll look like you're about to duel somebody else. No, it it will look like you're about to duel 
their top champion. But at the same time, like when you click on their profile, it's like, oh, look at Spider Man or something like that. And yeah. they're charging like they're charging some. The first, the the basic one costs gold. The the next one costs like 150 units or something. Maybe less, maybe more. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. And like the last tier, which is like shiny. And, had collector in it that one cost 500 units do you think do you think they're far away from skins i'm i'm not sure maybe maybe not i feel like i feel like with the um what are those the modok experiments yeah those are tricky you know they have to color them and design them but they implement them pretty quickly and i think if they sold those like oh man to change the skin of your character while you're fighting, that's that's the dream. Like, people will pay for that big time. Big time. I think they still have a lot of new champions coming in. Yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe if you change your champion's skin, it's only going to be reflected when you are fighting using them. Yeah. Not necessarily when other people are fighting, fighting them. Uh, because, you know, if you go into a life war... You like against a hidden node, and you don't know you don't know what champion it is. You 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 go into the fight, and you're like, who's who's this? Who what's the, what skin is this? I'm like, this is like the skin that you you never saw before, or you never knew how it looks. So I think uh, I think that could be kind of like the deterrent from going full on skin skin heavy skin tastic yeah on on any of these. But I, I would like to see it. I mean, it's it's a it's a way better uh, competitive monetization method than you know selling resources or selling like really rare resources like T five B for cash. So that's all that's all fun stuff, right? Yeah, I think I think they they could definitely distribute the the materials that they're selling right now in much better ways throughout the game and make it feel super rewarding and then have people just buying aesthetic stuff all left and right, which they do. Uh, people, you know this from other games, people do it. Yeah, people buy aesthetic stuff for like, you introduce, uh, yeah. I don't know, for Archangel, you introduce, like you introduce an angel Oh, kind of uniform yeah. or something. Dark and Phoenix. it doesn't do anything to him. It just so, some of them are already in the game. Dark Phoenix, yeah. Um, for Iceman or like any of the X Men, you you like give them their their original like X Men cartoon, yeah, kind of look and something like that. And people would would buy it like hotcakes, man. You give uh, I don't know, just just like fan favorite uniforms or fan favorite yeah. looks of, of characters i think that would be incredible you could do it in all sorts of interesting ways like mastery changes that cost units you know you could it costs units every time you want to change yeah um but you have to have it it's almost like gear and then and then that leaves you open to oh man dude it leaves you open to adding new abilities uh like gears to the uniforms I'm not sure if I want that yet for this game. No, probably not. I think not. there's going to be a lot of... A, there's going to be a lot of backlash. Mm-hmm. Which I think... I don't mind backlash. I, I think backlash is <laughs> is funny sometimes. Uh, but backlash also uh, can be a double-edged sword. Sometimes backlash brings players to a game that never heard of a game. They're like, oh, what is, what is what's going on? Maybe maybe I want to I wanna look, at, look at this game. Backlash mm-hmm. does that sometimes. Uh, but some other times it just it just drives people who are playing the game away, especially newer players who are just looking for advice and looking <laughs> for, uh, you know, those those infamous uh, Reddit posts where, hey, I'm yeah, new to the game. Like, what should I do? What should I do? Delete the game. <laughs> Every the first it. ten comments are stay away. <laughs> Delete it now. Yeah. Uh, which is which is you know just unfortunate because if if you tell the newer player to delete the game, the, the game is gonna gonna die. Yeah. So you won't you won't have a game to play anymore. So why why would you do that when you can give them advice? Very true, very true. Speaking of keeping new players playing the game, look at that segue. Ah, <laughs> so smooth like a baby's button. Wow. Okay, yeah. Um, they introduced. 
a cool new system with new titles. Now, these titles... Jesus. <laughs> uh, guys, it's fine. It's, it's live recording. It happens. Uh, it's not live recording. I'm no, not sure I'll edit that part out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a... this. They introduce some new titles called... Uh, progression titles? Contender Proven Conqueror. Progression titles. So these are basically uncollected, but for people who are not uncollected yet, who are still collected. Yeah. Um, I can send you the link if you want to look over that and maybe read yeah. some of that out. I saw them um, once, but it'd be nice to see yeah. them again. So um, the first one, Summoner, is, is for everyone, is, is for everyone who makes him camp. Okay. Uh, which is which is you know I think that's the biggest chunk of the players who play the game are actually in that in that category right now. Contender are the people who complete Act Two okay. and Proven complete Act Three and Conqueror complete Act Four. So these are basically alterations to the Daily Crystal and the. Uh, the four-hour crystals for these for these people only. The uncollected daily and four-hour crystal are saying the same. I have opened every single one of my four-hour crystals to get revives for labs, and <laughs> I'm loving it because uh, those things are kicking my butt, and I love. It. All right. Good uh, deal. And the the daily crystals for the uh, for everyone the daily crystals now contain. Um, well, not for everyone. For default, for you know, summoners, they they they're the same as before. For default and uncollected, they're the same as before. For contender, they have maybe like a few tier one class catalysts, tier two like stuff like class catalysts and basic catalysts that they need. And it's not it's not really that much different from the default. From for proven, uh, they uh, they have more units and they also have um, tier one alpha shards which is nice yeah i think i think at that point of the game you're you're really re like leveling up and stuff for your four stars <laughs> i'm thinking like i would almost rather have the conqueror one than the uncollected i know that the occasional tier two alphas is a big deal but yeah nine times out of ten i don't know about you but i get class catalyst fragments yeah, yeah, class callus fragments are like I wish every time it was T four V fragments to be yeah. honest. Yeah, me too. That would be fine. Uh, I don't need those, but I'll take it. But I'd rather have those alpha fragments, the tier one alphas. Or tier two class callus. Oh my <laughs> god. Those are those are gold, man. There's yeah. tier three class callus too, but those are easier to get from. No, I have uh, a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um Anyway, okay, this they have is some great. Gold and they have some stuff. This is great. All right, this yeah. is all great, but I want to talk about. Oh look, they um, they've limited the number of champions in each bracket. Like available. Uh, yeah. That's weird. So um, Conqueror has a better chance at getting. What, I mean. I think those are. Those are based on the year of release. I think Conqueror are getting oh, champs that were released last year. That's right. really cool. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And the and the contenders are just getting old, like way older champs. What I want to talk about is at the beginning of the post and like the first full paragraph. Uh, Kabam Mike writes down that uh, these three new titles will help summoners who haven't reached uncollected status receive some great materials. Suited, better suited to their progression level uh, in the four-hour daily crystals. Also, this is what I want to talk about. Also, every once in a while, you may see offers that are tailored to progression rewards. So these are probably money and, and unit offers that are just for um, just for you know newer players or contenders or proven or mm -hmm. conqueror or uncollected. Yeah. Now we have already we already know that there are offers for new players. Like if you make a new account, there's like a Peter Parker's wallet times five, and there's a Deadpool offer, and there's like a something else offer I don't remember. And uh, but it's it's cool 
that you know some some person who is just getting into the game can get something can you know be tempted to buy something that is tailored to their needs rather than something that you know yeah they they won't have a use for for years to come like maybe 2 years later they can use a T5B but until then it doesn't mean anything to them right yeah and also when you do get stuff like that you risk uh overflowing on certain resources yes absolutely like so, people get super valuable people. resources yeah. i've seen so many posts on reddit um over the last um well no not so much recently but but maybe 3 or 4 months ago there was like a string of posts like oh i have a tier 2 alpha's expiring and i'm just there like how do you let that happen but uh it's these p- players that don't have the higher inventory limits uh, yeah, and yeah. they they probably picked up a bunch of offers and they've got no five stars it's crazy yep uh so maybe i think the the right way of doing this would be um keeping the the universal offers like the universal higher end offers yeah uh the same for everyone because you want to have like this equal opportunity kind of deal that you know if if a new player wants to buy it they can buy it but maybe they can come with like a recommendation level like a recommended uncollected right yeah for like a t5b deal or recommended conqueror for like a t4cc deal right or a t2a mm-hmm. deal um but for like newer players you can have tier one alpha deals you can have gold deals you can have uh, revive and potion deals right or you can have energy refill deals Mm-hmm. That are just tailored to those kind of to those kind of demographics. You can have three star deals. You can have like four star deals that sell pretty well because those new players they just need those characters, right? They need they need those characters to to compete in arenas. They need those characters to to actually you know compete in the beginner or like intermediate arena. So yeah. it's all like um, I feel those people can definitely use those, but we don't we don't have a use for them, right? So. We don't need to really see those offers because, you know, a, an offer selling ten four stars for thirty bucks is is not really enticing to us, but it it could be enticing to some dude in Concord. ten four stars. Yeah, for like fifty bucks, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm trying to do how many. That's like probably five thousand five star shards for me. For fifty bucks, maybe. Yeah. That's still not worth it. <laughs> 30 bucks it is then yeah let's keep it at 30 <laughs> maybe 50 bucks would be worth it for someone in conqueror true though, right right yeah i mean and if i had it if i had seen that offer be... coming up that would be a game changer yeah and it doesn't even have to be like uh money deals it could be unit deals so i think i think this is this is, this is great this also kind of streamlines the progression from from just starting in the count to uncollected it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not like the, the uncollected is just this this massive milestone that if, if you get it, <laughs> right, you, you're you're god. They can also now they can also introduce challenges or content that require you to be a conqueror or require you to be a proven to compete in those. And like anyone, anyone further than that can still compete, but anyone before that can't. And this could. Uh, this could, you know, increase the the av- availability of, of content for for people who are not really there yet, who are not really uncollected yet, but still want some challenges, still want some rewards, and they can tailor the rewards to that to that level of to the level of play. Right. I think I think those are great. Of course, there's nothing stopping them from doing this before tailoring offers to people who've. I mean, they have the data now. They're just putting a name on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like you like you just said. It does make it does give them the op, the ability to segment content and have the community understand why they're doing it, right? They could yeah. they wouldn't be able to say earlier like, okay, this is only available for people who've completed Act Three, and people are like, well, where? Why did you just arbitrarily draw the line there? That's so yeah. strange, and everyone would hate it. But since they're introducing the, they're they're segmenting the community uh, into little stepping stones, which yeah, I guess is okay. I mean. It's just completion. It's not exploration, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, 
that gives people the opportunity. But I, I mean, ooh, I think people are beating Act Five, um, one run through within like two months of playing. Not everyone, though, right? Yeah, I think the majority not. of people. Uh, I think the majority of new players right now joining the game kind of feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh, maybe by, too much by a lot of things. Yeah. Too much going on. Too many pieces of content. Yeah, they don't need all that. Too many acts. Too many. Too many. Too many shiny stuff going on. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Now they'll be able. They can maybe even just hide certain things. Just yeah, like completely yeah. hide them from the HUD. You know. Yeah. Or what do you call that? And the UID. Yeah. Yeah. Or, what, what, am I what am I trying to um, say? They're also <laughs> reducing the computer somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, they're also reducing the the PAC price, which is okay. So contenders uh, are getting 90 unit PACs, proven 80, conqueror 70, and uncollected 60. Well, that's that's all good and fun, but yeah, don't buy these. Um, Wait, what that, did I? That's all. I missed that. What, what, I'm going back to the post. The P, the the PHC buying them, buying costs yeah. <laughs> oh, for units? Oh, now I'm seeing yeah. it. Oh, what? <laughs> oh God, that's uh, uh, well. This doesn't change I mean, anything, cool. people. Don't buy them. Yeah, uh, and they're also saying there will be no changes to feature hero crystals, grandmaster crystals, or feature grand. Even if they even if time. even if they were ten units a pop, it, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, don't, that's don't still don't too much. Those. Yeah. They're all free. Um, so I think I think this is fun. This is this is good stuff, right? Yeah. Um, okay. I like I, this. Uh, so will we automatically be receiving these titles as as uncollected players? I I believe so. Right? Yeah. So the title system is another thing they could have monetized a little bit better. Um, yeah. I I just like nobody cares what titles they have, but there is a list of them somewhere. Everybody has these like. I'm assuming they're just like hashtags in Kabam servers, um, yeah. next to our names. And why not um, display those in a cool board. way? Cha- sell different fonts or colors and exclusive titles, whatnot. Yeah, more, more, uh, more cosmetic stuff. Yeah, bring that on for sure. I thought when titles were first implemented on paper, I thought it sounded really cool. And then it was just these tiny little letters underneath your name that did nothing. And I was just like, you oh, could barely read it. That's yeah. what they are. Those are stupid. You know, it'd be cool if if maybe you applied a title and it had like other effects, like it changed the border of your champion, and maybe it, you could. I wh- think I don't know. Whatever. Back in the day, back when Civil War was out, right? Mm-hmm. You had factions or something called that. So factions were really interesting. You either were Team Iron Man or Team Cap, right? And they they also like one of them gave you more defensive abilities like ten percent more defensive or whatever ten percent more HP and recovery rate, mm-hmm. and the other one gave you more crit rate and attack. Right? Oh, cool! So I think that was that was really cool, right? What if there's what if titles do that? Interesting titles what if, like, and titles for different monthly events. Oof. What if uh, come with effects? What if, what if, yeah, that would, oh man, that's a good idea. Small effects, but that would be cool. Really what if, small what, effects, what if, yeah. what if at some point those titles get to um, be uh, affecting your team? Not your player, like your your alliance mates. That's also pretty cool. Like, uh, like give an example for that. I'm, I'm thinking of Dota again. <laughs> <laughs> Cry- Cry- crystal maidens uh aura yeah, that yeah. gives everybody on the team uh additional um mana is that what they call mana yeah mana yeah. generation rate so just imagine going into a war right and it's like okay yeah. make sure you have this title on and someone's designated to be like the regen title and it just increases by like two percent you know and then add diminishing returns and everything like howard howard the venom and howard uh, the venom. Yeah. yeah and and just Sort of, you know, make it almost negligible, but like barely noticeable. Just barely noticeable. 
and that'd be kind of cool. And yeah, make it so that it matters, but it doesn't oh, yeah. matter too much. Like you won't yeah. you won't lose the game automatically if you don't have the. Title. Yeah, you know, if you got some guy like, no, I'm not putting on the regen boost, and it's like, all right, whatever, <laughs> who cares? We'll and you fine. don't you don't even have to sell these. You can put these behind like really hard content walls, right? Yeah, well, you so could sell them really too. You could sell them. I mean, what if there's one? What if there's titles that it's just like two percent more, but that one's for money, you know? Yeah, sure. It's like whatever. Sure, no one's gonna complain. You know, it's. I mean, people are gonna complain regardless. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> if you're if you're taking relative complaint, it will be at zero, right? Yeah. So yeah, base be... baseline will stay the same. I expect something like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm just trying. That would be cool. What we're that would be really cool. What me and you are just trying to do here is like think of ways that they could sell us stuff without breaking the game. Yeah, you know? and I think they the, often think do. The... They often do, definitely. Um, I mean, the only thing people are willing to buy so far, at least in Kabam's eyes, are the stuff that's going to make them the number one player in the world. It's like, no. Yep. It's like, people will buy other stuff. You just have to adjust their expectations a little bit. You know? Cosmetic stuff yeah. is, is the future of competitive games, so... Oh, definitely. I mean, look at... um, What's the shooting game? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite, yep. yes. Oh, my God. Fortnite. It's purely cosmetics. So. They sell little angel wing backpacks or or new um, parachutes that look like I don't know a piggy bank or something stupid. It's just <laughs> like people just shell out money for that stuff, and I can't blame them. Uh, it's personalization. Hey man, I've, I've been dreaming about a piggy bank parachute for 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 years now. Yeah, I want to want to want to write it. I want to write that piggy bank to the. To the gates of our house. <laughs> yeah, um, it's not it's not a bad way to go, uh, Kabam. If you're listening at any point, um, if you're listening, yeah, I think listen like, to this. This is this is this is the best advice I can give. Is end it at six stars. That's it. Keep adding yes. features to yeah. them. Keep adding more mini games. Whatever you want. But six stars are the end. And then, yep. Yep. The, maybe they're the only type of champion that can be altered cosmetically. But sure, just go for it. But do start with that on the six stars, because that is that's where I think the future goes. And seven stars will guarantee you to be a black hole. Like that's the end. I guarantee it. I don't think anybody would stick around for seven. I stars. definitely agree. Yep. Yeah. Kind of rough to rough to just adjust to a new star rating when you already have built everything up. Yeah, I mean, so much. I, I can say they they mostly handled the adjustment to six stars fine by making them so rare. But I mean, what it just bums me out to see them on my roster, to be honest. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, what do I have these? It's, I, I know it's a how, reminder. How exactly. it, it's like seeing the. It's like a, a seeing a, a pyramid one layer deep, like you know what I mean. Like you have to build this pyramid, and only the first bottom layer has been filled in it just it's just a layer it's yeah. just a flat layer you just yeah. know it's so much work ahead of you oh and you just see this stupid punisher 2099 just looking at you like i'm gonna be ranked two one day <laughs> and you're gonna throw yeah. resources into me and i know you will <laughs> oh he's fun he is fun i like champion i wish his battery uh would increase faster though could do yeah, more. I think he needs a synergy to do that. Could do a lot more. I think it's fun though to get him up to a hundred naturally without the, uh, and then get close and then just stun lock for like uh, thirty seconds. Yep. Anyway. Anyways, I think um, I think we had a we had a good summarization of uh, of monetization Mon- from Kabam. Oh yeah. Um, I think they have been doing. I, I saw I saw so many people being upset about the the bloodletting crystal after they announced the the the, <laughs> the bleed nerf in the Last Wars. That's just a troll offer. I like Man, it. Man, if if this was two years ago, they would have came out with that offer like a couple of times, and, and then and then yeah, just just announced the. <laughs> the 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 bleed nerf across the lines worse. Yeah, which is you know, it happens. Yeah, that would have been worse. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to uh Black Friday and stuff. I've been saving for a little while. 
So I have a little piggy bank. Me too. That is ready to be broken. So that's nice. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how the deals are going to be, but I'm, I have a, a, a growing suspicion that it's going to be great because we have had the OG Vision offer, we have had the T2A offer, the the, the subscription card, yes. or whatever it's called, which they, is really good. They're going to have to be good. irresistible. Yes. Um, I'm excited then, too. It's cool. It's fun to see the deals come through, and the, and and you're just like, holy moly, when you see that first uh, screenshot yeah. of all of them stitched yeah. together. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I think that that's that's, that's going to be a fun time for sure. Um, <laughs> I'll probably get the but, unit one for sure. We'll see about the other. Yeah, ones. but besides that, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's 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 always more stuff to spend money on diapers and stuff. So it's all good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you could be you could always be responsible. Yeah, always. That's definitely. always an option. Food, <laughs> wine, and just just movie tickets and stuff. Cars, houses. I'm, I'm right. Yeah. Mortgage. Mm. Mortgage. Yummy. Is exciting. Almost mm. as exciting as a new uh, profile pic. That's Spider Man's glove. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Love that. Love that glove. <laughs> so yeah, you can you can you can spend money on on whatever you want and. Definitely. I think the moment people stop spending money on this game, it just stops it'll, existing. It'll so that's, that's, fizzle that's and die. Fun. I think the, mount, the amount time. of time that each person has to spend online probably makes their server costs pretty high. I bet you if the revenue dipped below a certain point, they'd have to just shut it down. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's just going to... That's the that's thing that will happen eventually. Yeah. Uh, I don't think for a while, though. It just it feels really healthy right now, doesn't it? It does. It yeah. really does. I feel so. Um, that's good. I feel with especially with the, the the crackdowns they had on like cheating and piloting and fraudulent units. Yeah. Fraudulent units. What a concept! Like, who would have thought that uh, stealing credit cards and buying super illegal stuff in mobile games yeah. with stolen credit cards is it's it's gonna fly? It's really not. So that's that's fun, right? Yeah. That's um, uh. That was a really bad time. I'm glad they. It seems like they've buttoned it up, but who knows? It's prob- There's probably another scandal brewing in the background. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's just how these things go. But I think uh, I think people are definitely more self-aware. People are not getting themselves involved in shady stuff because they know that they c- their whole account could just go away. So yep. watch out, guys. Play by the books. Buy the deals if you really need to boost your account. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what they're there for. Yeah. All Anyways, right. um, I think this was a good episode. We'll be back with uh, champion reviews and predictions for probably uh, Aegon and the champions soon. At the very least, soon. Wednesday, right? That's when we should have yeah, them. Yeah, as soon guaranteed. as the MCOC mod video drops, we'll be, we will be here and we will be talking about all of that stuff. This will be my favorite um, month ever for champion reviews, guaranteed. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm they're gonna, I'm gonna so want to do that. Cool the, the looking. Sa- yeah, I love them. both of them look awesome. I want to do it the, the the day it drops, man. So just clear your schedule for Definitely, the next yeah. uh, I'll, week I'll, I'll be <laughs> i'll be ready and excited and plump at awesome. the same time cool yes sir yeah all right man was... i'm going to uh i'm gonna turn it off